back to Deuce Span, I'm probably the only guy in America outside Illinois that catches a little Illinois football. So I remember Deuce Span. I watched some of these games. But if you blinked, you weren't going to see him because, number one, he's that fast. Number two, he only would play a couple plays a game, and you would know, poop. They're they're gonna they're gonna chuck it long and and give it a shot with him. Game yeah. one against Nebraska, one catch, forty five yards. This is the kind of player we're talking about. He probably only has like a limited skill set at this point. He hasn't be crafted himself into a well rounded receiver yet, but he's a lot of go routes. Like game two, Texas San Antonio, one catch, thirty one yards. Game three, Virginia, one catch, thirty three yards, touchdown. So that's uh, that's Deuce Span right there. Yeah, no, that is that is Deuce, and like you said, that's the statistics that he'll put up, but can it be something that is consistent? But, you know, Florida State, at least in his first year, it would be really impressed because it would be really impressive for them to be able to utilize him in certain aspects of a deep threat, and just if he's able to hawk that down and bring it down, that's huge for them because I wasn't expecting much from him this upcoming season, and I don't think I still am, but little flashes like this, it might change my mind on a guy that is ex- extremely speedy like you said and just the physical attributes you got to love it you got to love it. and he's got the wingspan to take down these balls and give you some big yardage gains and, and can be a threat to some defenses 